Hey guys, it's Brick Picture Productions here, here with my first haul video ever on this channel. I, I was, I've been ordering quite a bit over the past few weeks, and it's finally all come in at once. And I just decided before I do anything, I'm going to just do a little quick haul video. Now this is over $500 in value, so let's get started right away. Some sets are going to be already open, but the most part they are not. I'm going to start with Palpatine's shuttle here. Now I got this off of a seller on eBay who, is, who I also bought a bunch of other sets in this haul from. Now this was 20 bucks without the minifigures, but the set was complete. So I just, I was buying from them anyways. So I just figured I might as well throw that in there for $20. You can't really beat it. I actually like this ship's design. So I just threw it in there and a pretty cool set in my opinion. So here is the Slave One in all of its glory. This is just one of the ba many bags that was included. Many parts to this set. Nice cockpit piece in a bag to prevent scratching. And he actually started building this set and he just like kind of stopped halfway through. He, he just kind of got out of Lego like halfway through this, this build and you're gonna see a moment that there was also another set from him. But he just just lost interest, I guess, and he sold it to me. So now we just wanna get to a quick other set right now. Hatched, and then behind the Slave 1, we have a special set here. Now this was from my friend as well. He sold me this 2008 Republic gunship for only 50, bu 50 bucks. It did not include the minifigures. He, he has not had those minifigures for a while, but the gunship he is complete and the stickers have never been applied. The great, great set for such a low price. I now, I, now I have two in my collection, I guess. So now we're just gonna get to the more of the packaged st stuff of this haul. So here we have Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter. Now this set is brand new supposedly. They, it does not include the staps, the speeder, or any of the figs. But the set itself is apparently brand new. Now I got this from the same guy that I got the Palpatine shuttle from. And I picked this up for 20 bucks, so $20 for a brand new set. <laughs> Can't really beat that either. So here we're going to get to the more of the padded envelope stuff. So here we actually have an uh, envelope here. Now we're going to just open that real fast. I believe these were my Bricklink orders for the Slave One, but we're gonna we're gonna find out, I guess. Yep, that's exactly what I knew it was. We it was just a little small order. These parts are pretty specialty, so you had to buy them only from people that parted out the Slave One. They were decently expensive, but there was just a few pieces, all in this dark maroon color. Now, unfortunately, this store didn't really have any more parts that I needed for a current build I'm working on, so I just had to buy these parts. It kind of pains me, but that's what it is. So now I want to get into more. We'll get to this in just a moment. So I just kind of cleared off the table. It was getting kind of jumbled with all those sets. But here I want to open the big box before we get to this little package. Now this is from that same friend. And this is in fact very special, special set in my opinion. I already do have one of these, but this will be my second. Now this is in fact the UCS TIE Fighter. So 
so here it is in all its glory now like i already mentioned i actually already have one of these so this will be my second ucs tie fighter my well, this was from that same friend he actually started building this one as well he um he said that some of the bags were open i can't see which ones were oh he's even labeled them but um so some of the bags were open but he said 80 percent of it has never been opened now this is the official announcement i like i said in my update video i was going to do a pimp my set to in response to the lego buffs uh series and no i won't be pimping this ucs tie fighter i'm going to be pimping the ucs tie interceptor so i bought a tie another tie fighter to get the parts i need to do it and this leads me to this bag right here now this bag was is in fact more oop, more parts that i will need for the interceptor i'm just going to open it real fast and let you guys see this was from a BrickLink order it was, it was a pretty expensive order but i did order quite a bit i ordered like 200 parts most of them being plates so that's definitely why um it was so expensive but see oh it looks how oh, they've got that little that's like the coolest mock ever if you haven't seen that that in action it's so human like I actually did see that on their store and as part of a super lot, but I didn't, it was like 500 bucks, so I'll pass. But this is just more, we have a bunch of tiles and a bunch of plates in this order. Now this hopefully is all the pieces I am going to need to do this UCS tie interceptor pimp my set thing, uh, video series. Gonna be three videos to this, and the first one's coming out probably Wednesday. So I'm gonna get all these pieces together and start brainstorming ideas. But that does not even include my haul. This is the final piece to the puzzle. Now, obviously, I don't have it with me yet, but I ordered this over the weekend, and it is a studio lighting kit with backdrop and accessories. Now this was a great deal on Amazon, only $100 for all of this. Now for what you're getting, that's that's a very good deal. You get three of these umbrella lights and then two of these soft gel lights. And then not only that, you get a carrying case, a 10 foot backdrop stand, and three different backdrops, a green screen, a black screen, and a white screen. So, and it even included all the bulbs I will need. So, I mean, for, for hundred dollars that was well well worth it I, as you know I only run on desk lamps this is and that and I do stop motion so it's very difficult to work with all lights of all different heats and outputs so I just decided I'm done doing that and I will get them all the same so you're going to be prepared for better stop motions. There will be no lighting inconsistencies anymore. And with that, guys, that's my haul. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing Pimp My Set and even more stop motions. So with that, guys, peace out.